freedom. It's something we often take advantage of here as citizens of the United States. But our forefathers set upon us the ability to receive our God-given rights of freedom and the ability to live out our lives as we see fit. Fishing, my fellow fishing freaks, that is the expression of maximum freedom. When you think about the streams, the oceans, the lakes, the access to water that we have, that is the embodiment of maximum freedom. When you go sit by the water's edge and you cast a line or you get in that boat and you crank that engine, you're heading down the lake 60 miles an hour and no one is telling you where to go, that is maximum freedom. When you live out this 4th of July day, you should think about all the opportunities that you have to get out on the lake, get out on the river, go be by the water's edge, experience the sights and sounds of nature without governmental interruption. So when you set the hook this 4th of July, do it with the spirit of the American Eagle behind you, grabbing that fish and carrying it off into the sky. The great symbolism of American spirit, the red, white, and blue flag flying behind you, do it with pride. Do it, because you know you have maximum freedom. My fellow fishing freaks, I send this message to you in great honor of our American forebears, Washington, Jefferson, Adams, all those that fought for your freedom and established the great God-given right that you have to go catch a fish. This 4th of July, grip your fish with pride, lift it to your face and smell the sweet smell of maximum freedom, rugged individualism, and American pride, baby. And then take a picture, tag me on Instagram, at Lake Fort Guy. May God bless the fish. And may God bless you and this great United States of America. Good luck on the water, fishing freaks, and may the stars and stripes be upon you.